Hi everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome and welcome back to Angela's Fashion Mix. As always, I thank you for being here and I do hope you've had a fantastic Wednesday. If you are new, I thank you for tuning in and this is where I talk about fashion and all those things that are related to fashion and how we enjoy the things we take time to purchase. That is what we do here at Angela's Fashion Mix. So thank you for stopping by. And while you're here, consider subscribing, liking, and sharing the videos. I do appreciate the shares. So in case you did not see my short for today, today was the last day of my walk challenge. I challenged myself to walk two days a week for the entire month of May. And I am excited to report that I finished my challenge and I walked a total of 10 days for the month of May. To me, it was a really big deal, but I feel like I'm settling into maybe just kind of trying to find a routine and stick to it. That's kind of where I am in that. So thank you for those of you that join in and I appreciate the support that you've all given. And so here I am, mission accomplished. So today I'm sharing some of your comments. Although I try to respond to your comments, it is challenging to get to everyone on every comment. I do at least try to acknowledge that you sent the comment. And if I don't get you this time, maybe on another comment, but I do try to at least let you know I'm seeing you. So yes, I am seeing your comments. So what I'm going to start to do is to pull some out and respond to those here in the video as well. I've got a few today that I'm going to comment on because a lot of you are new and um, you may not have heard some of these things, but I can expand on some of it for those of you that have been here for a while as well. So in case you missed my get to know me video, go back and take a look at that. I shared a bit of who I am, what I'm all about outside of Angela's fashion mix, but also inclusive of the fashion journey. So one comment I got is they think once we're older, we stop slaying. They are lying. So as we age, a lot of times people want to put us into a box of some kind. We want to def redefine our style, redefine who we are, redefine how we express ourselves through fashion. So when I read the comment, I interpreted that comment to mean that as we age, people think that we're going to lose all sense of style. So obviously that is not true. I feel like even if you were stylish at 30, you're stylish at 40, and you're going into your 50s to your 60s or wherever you are, even if your pieces change or the length of your skirt changes or the neckline changes, how we approach the fashion that we buy and how we style it once we get it home, I don't think that changes as much as the pieces. So if you've always been a stylish dresser, I think at 60 and 70 years old, you're probably still gonna be a stylish dresser. The pieces may look different, but the style is still gonna be there. If you've always worn elaborate floral pins or you've always worn beautiful scarves or beautiful blazers or fabulous hats, I think that style is still probably going to be there. So I don't feel like I've gotten to the age where my style has drastically changed. I think what has happened with my style is that it, it, it has probably become a bit more refined in some ways. Not refined in a stuffy way, but refined in terms of I know at my age now what I will and will not wear. And I think settling into what is going to be in my closet versus what is not going to be in my closet. So even being close to 60 at this point, I feel like a 45 or 50 year old would still wear a lot of the pieces that I wear. And I also feel that someone in their 70s could also wear the pieces that I wear. So when it comes to the slay part of the comment, um, slay has a lot of interpretations based on what the outfit looks like. What I'm understanding you to say is that we can still have fabulous style. We can walk with our heads high and confident that we look good in what we're wearing. 
not in a look at me way, but in a very confident what I'm wearing is suitable for me, for my style, as well as my age. I think that confidence is going to come out because we've settled into knowing what style works for us. I think we know now, as we've aged, what works. And if that has not been the case, and you're still trying to figure it out, hopefully what has happened in my sharing in this space is that you've picked up some style tips, you've picked up some color choices, some garment choices. Hopefully you found something relatable enough. And I do hear that you all are implementing some of the things that I share. And that makes me feel really excited because that tells me that what I'm sharing has value. So whether you're 30 or whether you're 80, I encourage you to look your very best. And we're going to have days where we don't quite hit the mark. I've been asked if I ever miss with my looks. Absolutely. I don't know that anyone dresses and every single time hits the target or hits the epitome of what they can look like on a day-to-day -day basis. Absolutely. I missed the mark. Now, if you can't tell I missed the mark, I'm excited about that. However, there are days that I get dressed and I'm not quite feeling what the look turned out to be. Because a lot of times when my getting dressed is in the moment. I may have had a forethought today of what I'm going to wear tomorrow, but the whole look may not fully be developed until I'm in the moment. So sometimes that in the moment doesn't quite hit what I wanted it to. But ultimately, I'm not going to leave home looking a mess, but I'm going to leave home comfortable enough that I'm not uncomfortable all day. As I always stress, it's important to know what's in your closet. It's important to know what fits and what does not. And hopefully you've seen my video with regard to how to weed out those things that don't serve us the best. So if there are those pieces that we've gained a little weight and we need to push them aside, not necessarily get rid of, but just kind of push them to the back of the closet or in a different space so they don't become an immediate option, then I feel like it's easier to get dressed day to day when you know what, it, what you're looking at is going to be a great option. And I know what a second option might look like I've already kind of predetermined that. I'm typically not going to wear something that I'm going to feel like I've got to be aware of all day. That's a miss to me. One of you commented, I don't know fashion. I'm a plain Jane. I have no spunk in the fashion department. With regard to the plain Jane part, some people may say I'm a plain Jane because I don't wear makeup like that. I don't typically wear much more than foundation and a lipstick. Some days I don't even do the foundation. As I moisturize and I go with a lipstick, that has been my routine forever. And I don't know that you can see it now, but I do have on mascara, I have a little bit of eyeshadow on, and of course a lipstick. And I also have on foundation. Because I don't do that every day, some people would consider me a plain Jane. And that's fine because I'm very comfortable in what my overall presentation is. And when I feel like I want to kick it up or do a little bit more, I'll do that. But with regard to fashion, if you feel like you're a plain Jane, what I would suggest is that you take a hard look at what's in your closet. What are those pieces that you are using day to day that make you feel a certain way? If those pieces are bringing you down with regard to your comfort and what you're presenting, then I would say, if you can, remove those pieces from your closet. I would say focus on those pieces that you put on and feel really good. So I think most of us have those clothes that we put on and we feel like we are on top of the world. Now, I'm talking about your day to day. If there's a favorite blouse, if there's a favorite dress, whatever that favorite thing of yours is that makes you feel really good, 
focus on that and buy more of what that is. Those pieces that make you feel plain Jane like, get rid of them if you can. If you got to do it gradually, do so gradually, but you want to take those pieces out of your life. So what you're going to focus on is those other pieces that you get complimented on or that you look in the mirror and say, I really like this. If you really like it, then buy more of what you really like and gradually find ways to incorporate more of that into your wardrobe. I will also suggest that you focus on maybe one thing at a time. Find that thing that you really enjoy wearing. If you really enjoy wearing dresses, focus on dresses. If you never wear dresses ever, then take those out of your possibilities. If you enjoy beautiful shoes and the rest of it is just kind of not going together, focus on the shoes. There probably is something that you can focus on that you really enjoy and bring that more to the forefront. Minimize what the two pieces or the three pieces are in the background and go with the beautiful handbag, go with the gorgeous hat or a simple hat. Find that thing that is your thing and focus on it over time. Hopefully through videos that I share, you can find ways to incorporate other things that are going to be less plain and you're going to find ways to make those plain items stand out more. And maybe it's through color. If there are some colors you're wearing that are not feeling good to you, don't wear them. Purple is a color that I like looking at. I don't have purple in my closet because I have found over the years that the few pieces that I had, I never wore them. So I have removed purple from the mix. There's no reason for me to have purple if I'm not going to wear it. I have a lavender blazer. And as far as purples go, that is what I have. Take a look at your closet. Take an honest look at your closet. Don't pretend you're going to wear something you're not. And if you can't wear it, let it go. One of you asked that I send you all of my sunglasses and you would take real, real good care of them. I have been wearing sunglasses for years. I've always loved them and... I don't pay a lot of money for them. I have too many to pay a lot of money for them. If it was going to be one or two pair, I might pay more. But because I like variety, I have a lot of sunglasses. So you see them. I wear them every day. I have a pair in the cars. And so if I forget, I have a spare in the car. So I think sunglasses are a great way to just add a little extra something to your outfits. I recommend them highly, but find something, find those styles that really work for you, that you really like. And you may want to get a brown pair. You may want a black pair, potentially something in a tortoise shell, more like a, a, your skin tone, whatever it is you choose. Sunglasses are a great way to camouflage. If you don't feel like putting makeup on one day or don't have time to put it on, Throw those sunglasses on. Now, that's if you're just running out, not if you're just going to work. But put those sunglasses on and who's going to know you don't have on eyeliner? Who's going to know any of that? Sunglasses are a great way to camouflage that. They are very protective. They do have a purpose. Beyond the purpose, they are a fashion piece. So that is why I have them as an accessory. So... I enjoy wearing them. Typically, I don't think I've ever paid more than $20 for a pair of sunglasses. I have a pair that costs more than $20, but I didn't buy it. So I try to take real good care of those. I, I, I want them to last a long time because they were given to me by my nephew. And so I treasure them. I do wear them, but I treasure them. So um, aside from that, you can find really really awesome sunglasses at very affordable prices, but I de definitely recommend that you add sunglasses to your wardrobe 
And you, of course, can coordinate them with your outfits, or you can buy one black pair and wear them with everything, but you do have access to them. In addition to the sunglass comment, this also made me laugh. One of you said you would like to have all of my Goodwill selections. And I laughed out loud at that. I thought that was just so very interesting because I remember a time when Goodwill or Thrifted or Salvation Army or whatever the option was, it was not a popular thing. But in recent years, very recent years, thrifting has taken off and some of everybody is thrifting. Sometimes I'll be in a store and I just look around. I see 15 year olds, I see 80 year olds, everybody is shopping thrift. So when I got the comment that you wanted all of my Goodwill selections, I thought that was absolutely wonderful because I've recommended in the past that when you shop thrift or consignment or whatever the alternative is to regular retail, that you buy the nicest pieces that you come across. So a few months back, I was in a Goodwill and I was looking at the designer suits. So there was an Oleg Cassini suit. Oleg Cassini is from way far back in the day. I don't know when he stopped designing or who took over any of that, but I remember Oleg Cassini from the early 80s. And it's a classic designer brand that suit still looked really awesome and those are the kinds of pieces that i suggest when i suggest you buy thrift or consignment look for the quality pieces now there's a lot of opportunity to buy your regular non-designer pieces or just you needed a blouse you just needed a pair of pants Obviously, those things are awesome for our wardrobes, but when you come to finding those vintage pieces or those quality pieces that will still be here another 20 years, because if you get it and take care of it, it's definitely going to last. Those are the kinds of things that you want to focus on in the Goodwill or at the mom and pop thrift store or at an estate sale. Those things are going to last a long time. So. If I was to pull out all of my Goodwill pieces, I have thrifted items from every possible garment or thing that you can put in a closet. I have some of it from thrift. The thing I like about thrift is that there is an opportunity a lot of times to acquire those long ago pieces that are still classics. So I typically lean to those pieces that are not just here for a year or two, but those pieces that from year to year over the span of decades is still going to look the same because it's a classic cut, it's a classic style, and it's a style that I enjoy wearing. Some things are not going to be out of style. And if you take care of it, you'll be able to enjoy it for a long time. Now, if I decide that I'm going to get rid of, at one time, all of my thrifted items, I know who to call. So I hope that helps give you some insight into what I think about certain things when it comes to fashion. Ultimately, this is where I try to encourage you to just enjoy what you have. I think that we may buy things to have things, and I understand that, but I think we should buy things to enjoy the things. Because if they come into the closet and we just look at them and we never wear them, they're in no kind of rotation, and we just have them, they don't serve us. I'm challenging you to not wear something you've worn in the past month if you can do that. Now, that might be hard with the black bottom in a lot of cases, but if you've got something that you've worn in the past month, then it's that thing you kind of reach for week to week. Don't reach for that. Reach for something else. Rotate those pieces to help you get through what you have in your closet. If you have not already, 
go ahead and subscribe, like, and share the videos. I always appreciate that. And if you're on Instagram and TikTok, I'm also there at Angela's Fashion Mix. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye.